Hi everybody, my name is Lisa and welcome to Audubon at Home. This is my friend Katie and the two of us are here today because we have a theme of down by the bay this week. And I'm actually standing in the bay, in the Narragansett Bay, and we want to show you what kinds of things are living in the Narragansett Bay. And the best way to do that is to use a special kind of net. So we're going to use a net called a seine net, which we've got on the shore right here. And we're going to actually go out into the water and use this net to bring in some of the little critters that are just leaving, living right along the shore here. And when we bring the net in, we'll, we've got some buckets and we can put the animals in the buckets so you can see the kinds of things that are living here in the Narragansett Bay. So here is our same net. And you might notice there's some interesting features about it. On one side of the same net, there are these metal um, weights and they actually will keep this part of the net down on the ground. On the other side of the net, you might have seen these floats. These are actually made out of styrofoam because they float in the water. So this is the top and that's the bottom. And on both ends, there's a, a stick that we can hold. And we're gonna use this stick to kind of bump it along the bottom of the mud and the sand and the rocks out there because that's where some of the creatures might be hiding. So this net's gonna help us kind of collect those. We're gonna make this into sort of a C shape and collect animals as we go. Here we are starting our seine. We're tapping the, the sticks along the bottom. We're trying not to grab any rocks as we go. I gotta climb over a big rock over here. Let's not take that rock. We're trying to drive all the fish that might be swimming into this net. So we're making it so that they get stuck as we go along. We're not gonna keep these fish. We're just gonna take a look at them so we can get an idea of what's living out here. And then we're gonna let them go. Stuck on a rock. We're stuck on a rock here. We don't wanna, we don't wanna show you the rocks that are out here, even though I like rocks and we just had rocks and minerals week. But we'd rather show you some of the living things. Okay, are you ready to maybe step back and see what we got? All right, we made it to the shore. So now we have to bring the net up. And hopefully there'll be some things jumping around in our net. Oh yes, I see some fish in there. This is why I was thinking, okay, I see some fish jumping around here. Oh, actually, these look like little shrimp here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, cool. We've got some shrimp in there. Oh, there's a fish right here. I want to make sure it doesn't get stuck without water. Come on, fishy. Here we go. What else do we have? Another fish? Come on, fish. The fish like to hide in the seaweed over here. It's a good place for them to hide because they're well camouflaged. Oh, so many. Oh, aren't they so pretty? Look at how pretty these fish are. They've got a lot of light along their edges. Hey, oh, here we go. Here's another fish. So before we go back out, we're going to turn our net upside down just in case there's anything still left in there. And that way those can swim off and we'll do another run with the, with the same net and see what else we can find. Oh, 
clamshell in that one. what we're doing and there's an osprey flying overhead. I don't think these fish are big enough for the osprey though. Over there, Katie. Pretty good. Excellent. All right, here we go. Tapping along the bottom. Sometimes when we do this with like summer camp or when we have a family program, we ask the students to stand at the shore and just kind of kick their feet and kind of dance around because that makes all the critters that are underneath there kind of run towards where the net is and that helps us get more stuff in our net. That's a fun thing to do. Oh, they're good at hiding. They're in the seaweed again. Oh, that one got free. You're free, you're free. Look at all this great seaweed in here. There's the green. There's this reddish brown one. This one's called sea lettuce. Doesn't that look like lettuce to you? Not that we should we should eat this, but it does look a little bit like lettuce. That's why it's called that. And there's this sort of hairy looking stuff. We found a lot of different seaweeds in here. Ooh, look at this. What's that? What does that look like? That looks like a different kind of seaweed, maybe. It's kind of an orange color. Maybe I'll put it in the bucket. And we can see what it does as it's, as it's moving in the water. All right, look at that. Not only fish this time, we found a crab. So we have lots of different fish in here. Most of the fish we're seeing are silver sides with that beautiful silver color on their sides, so that's a good name for them. But then you might notice these tiny little things that are swimming around as well. There's a couple over here. Those are shrimp. So those are related to crayfish that you may have seen and lobsters. They're just a lot smaller than that. And in this bucket, we have a little bit larger shrimp. You can probably see that one swimming around. And at the bottom was that crab that we found. That is a blue crab. And the neat thing about the blue crab is you can tell it's a swimming crab because of its back legs. They look like little paddles. Crabs that don't swim, like the green crabs or the Asian shore crabs that we find so much of along the beach, they have just, just legs on their back feet. So they don't look like they're swimmers, but the blue crabs really look like a swimmer. So we can tell that they're a good swimming crab. So neat, we found some great stuff today. Thank you everyone for joining us for Audubon at Home. I hope you enjoy your beach combing experiences the rest of this summer.